Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can tell from the title today, we are going to be talking about my honest opinion and review on VI's products. As you guys already know, I've been working with this brand for quite some time now and I had a lot of experience with the brand. I'm able to give you guys my honest opinion. I get asked all the time about how I love them, what's my favorite products, and do I actually find their lashes comparable to Lashbox LA. So if you're interested in hearing my honest opinion and review on VI's, then without further ado, just keep on watching. So I'm going to try to go in order on how I use these products and then give you guys a brief description on their website of each product. I will also be doing a screen recording that I'll probably put up here for you guys so you guys can see when I am actually talking about the product. So first things first that I want to talk about, which I feel like is a necessity, and it is gel pads. Obviously, everybody uses gel pads. You need gel pads for when you are lashing to kind of help you tape down the bottom lashes for your client. And it's just not any ordinary gel pads that you want to use. You want to use gel pads that are one, like, really like almost fragrance free, really easy, really nice, really soothing underneath your client's eyes so that it's comfortable. I personally have really sensitive eyes, so highly fragranced gel pads, um, really overly moisturizing gel pads can make my eyes water personally. So I try to view that for all my clients and kind of think outside the box for them. So I absolutely love the VI's gel pads. I think they're comfortable. I think they're sticky enough to go ahead and put underneath your client's eye, but they're not too sticky where you're running the problem of it getting too tacky and sticking to your client's bottom lashes. So when you're trying to take off that tape, it's a little uncomfortable and kind of pulls on your client and hurts them a little bit. So that's why I really like these you guys heard me raving a lot about the Amazon gel pads before however if you guys notice if you've used them a lot they dry out so fast and I hate that I was constantly feeling like I had to repurchase gel pads all the time they were always drying out on me and I just was like I'm over it so when VI's actually sent me out their gel pads I immediately fell in love with the consistency of these gel pads and if you haven't tried them before you definitely need to go try them out they're super affordable, super high quality for the price. Okay, so I pulled up the website description for the gel pads and right now they're actually on sale for $8.25. They're normally $9.99, so they're normally $10. And it comes with a pack of 50. Um, so what it says, it's a 50 pack pair of individuals suitable for both eyes, two year shelf life, lid and latex free. 100% natural extracts, gel under eye pads for eyelash extensions, gentle, friendly, and all for all skin types. The biggest advantage of eye pads are adding the aloe vera and vitamin C to nourish and moisturize the skin. So I love the really good details that they have in for these gel pads because I really do feel like they are exactly what they say. They are very soothing. Um, they're really not like deep puffing in a way. There's nothing about caffeine in there. If you've noticed that when you do buy certain gel pads, like there are some from like Peter Thomas Roth, like the 14 karat gold ones, those have caffeine in them. So they help deep puff. These are just to help smooth out the under eye and give it more of a refresh appearance. And I really feel like it does that. My clients notice a difference after I take their gel pads off and they just say they just love how cooling and how comforting they are underneath their eyes. So yeah, love these gel pads so much. Definitely go out and try them. You will not be disappointed. All right, so the next item on my list is going to be this JL 45 degree angle curved isolation tweezer. This is my holy grail isolation tweezer. You guys are always asking me what tweezer I'm using to isolate and majority often than not, it's gonna be this one. In all my videos that I'm going ahead and I'm working, you will see me using this isolation tweezer. I found that a good, nice 45 degree angle is so much easier for you to get in the inner corner and outer corner. In the beginning of my career, I found that I was using a straight tweezer for the inner corner and more of a curved crane tweezer for the outer corner. Just because sometimes in the beginning of your career, having multiple tweezers is gonna help you better isolate and better and and help you better to lash. So I feel like personally, having this one just alone was just so much easier, made my life so much better. All right, so the website description says this is a volume JL gold tweezer. However, personally, I'm gonna use it as an isolation tweezer. So on their website, this tweezer retails for $15.99 and is currently sold out because I'm pretty sure it's because I literally recommend this isolation tweezer to everyone. So you do need to get yourself on our email list so it will notify you when this tweezer comes back in stock. But it says that this tweezer is designed with a precise tip. It allows you to grab and spread volume lashes easily within a diameter of 0.03 to 0.15. This is perfect for both isolation and picking up. The groove design of the handle part allows for a smooth, comfortable hold, 
recommended picked up with the tweezers usually two to three millimeters from the tip um, it is a 45 degree angle tweezer it is stainless steel if you do get it it is brand new so you guys seriously if you have not tried this isolation tweezer you definitely should check it out it is seriously the best isolation tweezer i don't know but that's just what i love that's just my jam that's what i like to do telling you guys you need this 45 degree angle tweezer in your life right now go purchase it click the link and buy you will not be disappointed and use my discount code so next on my list is going to be glues um i have tried all the eyes glues and i've narrowed it down to two glues even my most popular glue that is in my lash cart today and that is going to be these two right here which is the extra strong glue and the extended retention glue extended retention is the one i'm always 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 posting it's the one that's got me the most retention however i was trying this out the other day because this one wasn't working so i was using this one and i actually really liked it drying speed was really good and I had no problems with retention to say which one I like more honestly I couldn't really tell the only thing that I can say is that I'm actually gravitating towards this one right now because it is drying a little bit faster for me I noticed that this one likes more of a high percentage of humidity and this one kind of likes a average percent of humidity okay. so for the first glue the one I've always been raving about which is the extended retention glue retails for $13.99 and they have different drying speeds as well they have a 0.5 to 0.1 second dry speed which is the one that I use and they have a one to two second dry speed which I would think would be really ideal for somebody who is a beginner because you don't want a super fast glue in the beginning of your career because your speed is not up to par once you learn to advance and you start to work on your craft more and you advance in your speed then you'll advance into a faster glue all right so it says extended retention lash adhesive can bond last up to six to eight weeks and is formulated for experienced lash artists that needs an extra fast drying adhesive it works better in high humidity which is true 40 to 70 percent is okay and works really nicely in a 69 to 75 degrees fahrenheit so that's pretty much ideal for me in my lash room um i don't know if i've told you guys before on here but my lash room the windows don't open so for me it's super easy for me to control the temperature and humidity in my room it relatively does stay a little bit more moist in my room because there is a pipeline in my studio so I feel like the humidity level always kind of stays a little bit the same, if not a little high. I want to say it's always like at a 50 to like 55% humidity. So I did notice like right now it's been really, really humid that this glue is obviously working for me a lot better. During the drier season, I feel like this glue is actually going to be my favorite. So to be honest, like I'll probably still use both. They're still relatively affordable. The most expensive glue I ever used was like $80. No bullshit. It was on a... Yeah, but that's another story for another day. The viscosity is great. It's really dark. It's really pigmented. I use my glue and the little flower cups, which I'll go ahead and show you guys which those are up here. Um, but that's what I like to use to dispense my glue. I really, really love this glue. Again, the viscosity is more of like a thinner viscosity. To me, I love a thin viscosity type of glue. So that's what this brings to me. So for our next glue, let's go ahead and read the description for this one. So extra strong lash extension glue retails for also $15.99. And this one is a fast drying speed that can allow lash artists to finish a volume or mega volume it in a short time it works better in high humidity conditions as well 40 to 75 percent now i feel like for this one 45 to 50 percent is more ideal for this glue i for i found that it personally works really really best in that type of percentage and it works really good in about 72 degrees in my room that's ideal for this glue I always think it's really great to have two separate glues that have that love different percentages of humidity because you never know when one's not going to work and that you will run into that problem and i ran into that problem a couple of times in my lifetime so having two different glues really does help so that's why i was like okay you know what let me go ahead and give this one a try and see how i like it and i'm so happy that i did that because now i know that i can work with either or so yeah, so I do want to talk about a product that I've been obsessing over lately that I'm actually really surprised on how much I loved this product. I really didn't think I was going to like it at all. I didn't think they were going to last. I just, I just, I personally just really had super low expectations for this product. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I did, but once I tried them out and I saw how they continue to work, I, I was pretty freaking shook. I'm not even going to lie to you. All right, and that product is... <laughs> it is going to be the VI's premium handmade fan specifically in the D curl all 
All right, I'm absolutely in love with these handmade fans, you guys. They are seriously, the curls are pretty. The look that they give is beautiful. And the number one thing that I love about these is the thin snatched bases. If you've ever worked with any other companies or if you've ever tried any other handmade fans before, you will know that most companies make them more of like a square chunky base. It's really hard to find really good lashes that have that new, super nice thin base. And when you're making actual homemade fans, having a thin base is gonna be easier for you to go ahead and place on that extension and get the best proper adhesion. So yeah, I absolutely love these ones. I did them on my sister. I'll go ahead and insert a video on what those look like. I also have a video that I'll link up here and down below just in case you're interested in seeing actually me using these on somebody. But I really do love the D-curl more. The C-curl is relatively flat. It is pretty extremely flat, which is nothing wrong with that, but I definitely feel like those would really work on somebody who has more curlier eyelashes. For the client that I used in this video, she relatively has more upright lashes, very curly, not too curly, but very upright. So for me, I always use a C-curl on her and I mixed a C-curl and a D-curl and I really think that the curl would have been perfect. It would have flattered her so well. It created so much volume. I was able to create texture, this wispy set and I absolutely loved it. And again, they lasted a long time. So one question that I do get asked is, is it considered double dipping? Is it too much glue? For me personally, I don't think so. I don't have a problem with that. I feel like I've gone in and I dipped them in the glue, put them on my, my client, and I've had no problem with it. So personally, I can't really answer that question down to the T, but I, I haven't had a problem with it. I don't really think so. I think they work just as fine. And again, I love that super snatch base. So these are the 10D.07 D curl mix. Now what I do want to say for somebody who has more weaker lashes, these are probably not ideal for that person. It's 0.07 and it is a 10D fan, which is equivalent to probably a 15 to 0.20 millimeter lash. So that's kind of heavy. So I would definitely use this on somebody who has more of thicker, natural, healthy eyelashes than opposed to somebody who has weaker eyelashes. Because again, you don't want to run into the problem of damaging your client's natural lashes. The rule of thumb is never put in more than two to three times the thickness on your client because you wanna be able to have your client support that weight. This is the 10D Large Tray 320 Pre-Made Fans 0.07. They retail for $15.99 each. They come in C and D curl in lengths nine through 16 mix. I honestly feel like you can do a full set with at least two trays. So if you are gonna do a full set with somebody, I would definitely highly recommend for you to at least get two trays. Um, but I always recommend people to have some in their kits just in case. Um, yeah, so there's 16 rows per tray, 9 through 16, like I said, and two rows of each length, which is great because you do get a lot of lashes to go ahead and use. I feel like if you have somebody who has relatively more, less lashes than normal, then you can definitely do a full set with one package, but I would highly recommend to get two. Um, they're pointy slim bases, which is very true. Super soft, perfect for a dramatic full look, shorten your time for application. Absolutely agree with that. Everything that says in the description is definitely what it is. Yeah, I highly recommend them. I definitely think you guys should try them. Go right now and go purchase them, please. You will not be disappointed. I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys. You will not be disappointed when it comes to the eyes. So yeah, love them, love their life. Next on my list is gonna be another liquid product. And the reason why I chose to do a liquid before this final product is because I wanna save the best for last. So my next product is going to be the VI's Super Bonder. If you don't know what a Super Bonder is, it's basically a bonder to help set and cure lashes and lock them in place. It will help minimize fumes, it will help your retention, and it will help, like I said, cure your lashes. So I personally feel like majority of the time when it comes to lashing i didn't realize in the beginning of my career how important a bonder was until i actually used one and i've used about four to five bonders and i feel like i'm always coming back to this one one because i actually like the fragrance i know that's weird but majority of the time some bonders smell so chemically if that's even a word <laughs> and i'm I, it's just too much it's too much for my client to inhale so i actually like that this one does smell a little bit less chemicalized or less like there's a lot of chemicals in here than majority of bonders that i've used okay so yeah love this one so how okay so there 
So there's two ways to use a bonder. So one way, and it's like the prehistoric way, is to go ahead and get a micro swab and dip it directly into your product and then go ahead and take the micro swab and gently pat the adhesive and the natural lash meat and to kind of lock the lashes in place. However, for me personally, the way I like to use this product is I will put this in my nano mister. So the way I measure this is I'll put one part water to one part bonder, which is literally measuring half of my nano mister of distilled water, because you have to use distilled water in your nano mister, and half of the bonder. And then I'll shake it up, and then I'll go ahead and use it on my client. I'll go ahead and show you a reel that I made demonstrating what that actually looks like and how it crystallizes the glue for you right here. So yeah, um, using a bonder, like I said, is gonna maximize retention help minimize fumes, and just really so many benefits to using a bonder. Okay, so the description for the Super Bonder, it is 15 millimeters, it retails for $15, it's on sale right now. Normally it is $21.99, it's about $22. It does come in a pink packaging or a clear packaging, I prefer the clear personally for me. So Super Bonder is a lash sealant that is specifically formulated to ensure the best holding and retention. It helps to finish your lash sets faster, expedites the drying process of a lash adhesive by dehydrating the adhesive, Perfect for lash artists who may be working in a more humid client for some slower drying adhesives. The feature says that it maximizes lash retention, accelerates the drying of lash adhesive, protects against water, sweat, and dirt. Yeah, I really do feel like it helps. I really feel like it's helped me with my retention by like at least 20%. I really cannot finish a set without using this product. I cannot finish a set without setting and curing my lashes. I just feel like, I don't know, to me it's kind of like insurance in the way because about 90% of clients will go back to home and go wash their face or go take a shower because they didn't or they're gonna go out and put their makeup on and they're gonna come home and wet their face. So I feel like this gives insurance so just in case that does happen, you're gonna reduce that, you're gonna reduce the amount of loss you would get as opposed to not using it, if that does make sense. So last but not least, is going to be their lashes. You guys, these are my babies right now. I love these lashes. I put so many people on. My lash bestie, she loves them so much. And I kind of want to talk about the lengths and which ones that I have because there are different categories that they have on their site. So I do have majority of them are their premium eyelashes. And this one right here is a CC Curl 0.05 and 12. So a majority of my sets are more of, um, strip lash effects and volume sets and also wet set textured sets right so i have to have a reversatility of different type of textures of lashes so i have their cashmere eyelashes as well and these ones are my personal favorites these ones right here baby i'm gonna say this right now these are an absolute dupe for lashbox la hands fucking down this is the dupe right here. These cashmere lashes, now the only thing, the eyes, can we get a CC curl please? The eyes, I need a CC curl in this texture right here. They own, So these ones only do come in D curl and C curl unfortunately, but they do have 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, yeah, I believe in 0.07 in their cashmere line. And I am absolutely in love. They are so extremely fluffy. Lashbox LA um, packaging with me so that I can definitely show you guys the comparisons between the two on here. And honestly, you guys, I, I really don't see a difference. I don't feel a difference. I think they fan like butter. I think they have the same exact softness. I think they're super fluttery. As you can see here, like even the spacing between them is super similar very very soft very very fluffy um very very nice and texture like just this the softness is literally the exact same i literally don't feel not one bit of difference at all like seriously an exact an exact dupe for lashbox la so if you love lashbox la and i'm sorry lashbox but Y'all a little expensive. If you're looking for an affordable dupe for the comparison of Lashbox LA, you definitely have to get the cashmere line. Now, I do love the premium line, don't get me wrong, but there is a difference between texture. The cashmere line is definitely a lot more fluffier compared to the premium line because um, cashmere is supposed to be lasered. It's supposed to be mimic that faux mink, that texture, that fluffy, feathery texture and premium is just kind of like basic lashes. So I love the basic premium eyelashes and I have 0.05 and 0.07. 
0.05 is for more of like my volume sets, more of my softer sets, and I use 0.07s for when I'm doing wet sets and textured sets. So the premium eyelashes come in 0 0.03, 0 0.05, 0 0.07, 0.15, and 0.20, and also 0.2 and 0.4, which is really, really nice. You have different curls. You have C, 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 D, and double D, and you have lengths nine all the way up to 25, and you have the lengths of nine millimeters all the way up to 20 and 25 millimeters, which is really, really good for, especially for those of you who love to do those super long dramatic lashes. You have a lot of versatility. Okay, so um, the material is top grade Korean B PBT material. I don't, I don't know what that is, to be honest with you. Is they're easy to pick up, easy to create open fan for any size, dark matte black color, no blue tint, which honestly is a super huge factor when it comes to lash extensions. If you don't know, I personally do not like eyelashes that have a blue undertone because they are way more noticeable in light. It makes them look really, really cheap. And that is the crazy part about having affordable lashes at a great quality is the fact that they do not look cheap. So keep that in mind next time you are buying eyelashes. If you see a blue hinge to them, run away, don't get them. Your, your clients will actually notice them on people and even on themselves that they have that blue tint, which thus makes them look cheaper. They do hold their curl for about a year. I don't know if that's true, but every time my clients come in, I never have an issue with the curls falling. I have used brands that their curls do not last and I've never had a problem with these ones whatsoever. So, and no kink and no harsh sticky bases. I really do feel like that. I've never had a problem with picking up these lashes off of the strip. I think they work great. I love every single, I love every line. I love their, pre, I, I personally love their premium and their cashmere lashes. So my popular lengths are C, 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 and D curl. So I have my lengths all the way from nine, all the way up to 17. You know, all the way up to 20 in all of them and I absolutely love them. I think they're great, I think they work great, I think they fan great. I mean, what more can I, oops. I mean, what more can I say? Like, you just have to try them for yourself and let me know what you think. Alrighty guys, and that is it for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe on your way out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you VIs for working with me. I absolutely love your brand and just so honored to be a part of your team. And let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite VIs products and which ones are you thinking about purchasing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.